Hi, hey, welcome back to Chesterville, where it took like the last three hours, but we finally built up uh, uh, enough gold between swatting these things for, for that. Swatting those things and getting armor to melt, and just generally collecting stuff as the pigmen landed down here. We got the gold together. Um, I, uh, I just went ahead and built this, like, basically an inst 18. I can make two more right now. I built this in installments, just kind of got the cart going. I tried having a second cart, and for a while it worked, but then they separated and started banging at each other. It didn't work. Um, and then I wound up using the hopper for something I'll talk about in a sec. I have three left over because it's it's 63 powered rails, and I, you know, 66. That's how it works, six at a time. But, so that's, you know, happening now. <clears throat> These things are, I mean, depending. We need to get this down to... What did I say it was? 39? So 36. 37, 38. So basically when that one's full, we have enough to make beds for a village. That's how many beds we need. Um, incidentally, we have about half of the dye we'll need if we want them red. Uh, because of beets. Um, I'm going to want this for something because I'm getting free redstone just for existing right now. That's almost damaged. I will probably wind up using... Or if, you know, it fills up, we can just ignore them until we need them. That's almost full. <clears throat> um, yeah, so, give me that, I guess. 20, yeah, that's, I'm going to be one short. Give me a witch. And I'll just, okay, give me that. Maybe it's better if I don't use them all up. I'll just go with what I have. So what I want to, well, first let me talk about. I got... There was a, a zombified kid on a chicken in there, and a, then a zombified pigman on a chicken kid, or a pigman kid on a chicken floated down. So I let the one chicken out, ran away from it. Got them close enough to each other, gave them each a seed, had an offspring, leashed it, brought it over here, and managed to contain it on a hopper, which is why I don't have a minecart, a second minecart anymore. So we're up to five eggs on that. Um, once we get up to, I don't know, they stack to 16, I would say about a stack is a safe bet. Probably more than one wouldn't hurt. Uh, we'll have the ability to basically have infinite chickens. Um, oh, I want to talk to Chester about something. Uh, that's just where I threw food. So here we've got about half of what we'll need to uh, dye all the beds red. We can just make dye out of that stuff. With you, what I could do, I'm not sure, because <clears throat> right now we have no practical way to get beyond where we are in terms of ores. We have redstone that's free, which buys us lapis, which we can trade for emeralds, which at minimum means the next time we get a trader, we can start cheat buying stuff from him instead of dealing with uh, this guy. But then a cube of uh, emeralds gets us a diamond, and a cube of diamond gets us a obsidian, and then we can go to the nether. We have nothing, actually we have nothing we can even break these things with. I think we can do those with, I want to say I can uh, break the, oh, let's just find the hell out. I think I can do this with a stone pickaxe. If I'm wrong, I guess I'll figure something out. Let me try something. Yeah, that worked. So, no fortune, but... Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. This will get us how we have eight from the first one, so. So out of seven of those, we got 41, which is four, uh, not die, cubes. Which I'm pretty sure, A, I can't hit these with stone. Although I guess I could just make a... What well, I'm curious, I don't know. Let's find out. Can I cook one of just one? If I'm wrong, I want to know I'm wrong. Is that gonna work? I've never tried this before. This seems risky. In a little, but I mean, I'm using something I got for free that built. No, oh, worked. So we'll just do that and store the lapis because uh, we might as well. Um, still got the villager eggs. I made one of those so we can get into the nether. <clears throat> Once we have the obsidian, which of course we don't have at all. It should be 
two more of these coming in right kind of slow anyway um so this is like almost half a cube which means given that we have to burn it one diamond half of one diamond out of uh what do we need well we have lava that i can sacrifice if i have to so that means we need nine obsidians which is 81 diamonds and we've got half of one diamond so <clears throat> from a perspective <laughs> we might not want to play it that way we might want to try to get other stuff happening it almost seems like it would be more energy efficient to build a village and just get emeralds yeah it could maybe and i realize that we would be placing beds for a while but yeah which we could do some right now I just, <clears throat> for one thing, we don't have any, well, we don't have any great way of making a village out of transparent blocks, although, I guess, if we made it out of this stuff, we have that many, where basically this top row would be a stack of prismarine bricks, which wouldn't go very far. Hmm. We could also just use, I don't know, we could just do it. I don't know. We could arguably do a smaller village that wasn't designed to produce iron. And just to... Well, but then the one they want to buy. We can't do a cleric because we can't get um, blaze rods yet. So, there's that issue. We could do... We could absolutely have fishermen. Uh, who want raw fish. At least eventually they do. Uh... Fisherman and farmers? Yeah, and maybe... Let me... Uh, I think it's probably up there at this point. I had leather... Um, from killing llamas. I, I have enough to make, like, three books, and then that's enough to make a bookcase, and that's enough to make a podium, and that's enough to make a librarian. Which, you know, then immediately doesn't help much if we don't have a lot of uh, sugarcane growing. But we could think toward it. Well, we got ten now. Wow. I well, have been fishing. Yeah, apparently. What else is in there? Four of yeah. the fish. Oh, okay. I'll grab this. Uh, more, more sugarcane if we want to do that. Uh, respiration doesn't help much here. Can you put flea on a crossbow? I don't know, it doesn't matter. We, well, actually, I could make an anvil. I don't want to, but I could. Maybe if I saw fortune in here, I'd think about it. But then what am I going to stick it to? I'd have to build up somehow a diamond pickaxe and get fortune onto it. Um, yeah, we do have eight reeds growing, so... You know, each time they're done, that's 16. We need to get to the nether so I can have quartz. And for that matter, soul sand. Because I can't do a lot of... This is about as automated as I can make something without quartz. Um, so, there's that issue. Give me uh, spawners. Let's put those where those are going. Let me have half of this stuff. And just... I'll replace it in a minute. It's one book, two book, three book... Um, put that back, I guess. I'll go swap this stuff down so I can make sure I... I only, when I do get this automated, I only need 28 of these to uh, build it. But then again, it's it's useful stuff, so... Farmers would be good, but we have all of the foods at this point. Um, I guess I'll do that. We have uh, wheat, beets, potatoes, and carrots... Any given farmer, apart from having bread for sale, is going to have is going to want those four things from the beginning, from the instant it exists. And having a farmer is as simple as making a uh, compost. I already have one over here somewhere. So basically, that plus a villager is a farmer. Um, a 
podium. So, yeah, we could yeah, make some make a small village just for the purposes. Actually, I'm, why am I worried about this? Because we get more villagers anywhere in the world by trading in wheat, by bread. Yep. Which, arguably, if we, if we had a if we had a farmer villager and for some reason a lot of money, we could just buy the damn bread. We don't even have to worry about cultivating. I'm going to take a nap here real quick. I figured the best thing I could do was stand up here and keep the spawners going. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Well, let me... Where do we have room for a village, anyway? Nowhere. So we're going to actually have to build out a bit to make that happen. There's nowhere... Well, how big does a village have to be? I don't know. Let me think. Um, and how much do we have to work with? Not much. I've been up here the whole time, so I haven't been getting you cobbled done. Right. Well, so... I'm just trying to plan this out. Like, okay, find a spot that could be a village. What do we have for cobblestone, anyway? Where is cobblestone? <laughs> so, do we have that? Which might be enough to build out enough to talk about. A jungle village would be a thing. Why not? And we have some wood, I assume. Okay. Let me have all this. <clears throat> and we'll just do a fairly cheap, simple village kind of deal. Um, if you want to help. I'm on my way down. Okay. I figure... Slight delay in spawning... might be worth it. Yeah, I just want to build up a bit of area here. Anyway, just fill these in with planks. I think this is jungle. Yeah. And since, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but we're not really fishing anymore, so. Or not, not for bamboo. I can go fishing up there where it doesn't matter what biome we're in because it's not about bamboo. You know, technically we could probably just do a full size village. I don't want to, but I think we could. Like, well, besides that, I know where a slime chunk is. I don't necessarily know where they all are. So I hope there's not one coming. That could be ugly. Might inadvertently get us. Um, what? The iron thing. I, okay, I'm not worried about it. This, I'm, the, my plan here isn't exactly to get iron at the moment. If iron guys happen, it's just they're irrelevant. Just ignore them. Don't start a fight with them. No. Just if slimes happen to upset the villagers, they might spawn one. And yeah, but so what? And then they could get in fights with the slimes and die. And you would get well, iron. I guess, but I'm not. It's just not my objective. Okay, that's a bunch of land, or it will be. Okay, I'm just getting more wood. Yeah, oh, chopping on a tree or just looking for it? Oh, I see. Okay, actually we will want wood because we're going to have to like fence this whole thing in. Um, which, let me, oh damn it, let me have some stuff I'm going to need to. Give me those, I'll factor later that I need more stuff. So that's that many beds. Which is more than I actually need right now. Just... Let's uh, 
Um, I don't even know how many beds I can make, to be honest. I think we had like five or six stacks of this stuff. Okay. Yeah, there's no chance. I mean, we can make some, but like right to that point is a stack of uh, wool, which is really just like 21 beds. So, not quite twice that. Maybe 40. Let me go ahead and consolidate this stuff. I don't know how big a village we're going to end up with, but might as well see what we can get. What the hell was that? Seriously, what did I just do? Oh, I put down a string somewhere, didn't I? Where is it? What the hell? It's gone. I don't see it. I mean, that... There it is. Uh, More string, I guess. Okay, so... Let me think. Yeah, make wool out of string. And then we'll talk about dyeing it in a sec. Is that... Wait a minute, did we... Oh, we changed something, didn't we? How do you do this? It's just like that now. Okay. I see. That's stupid. I would, it would go further if I made the beds first, because then it's just one die per bed. Uh, move this stuff out of my way. I'm going to need... Fencing. Do we still have wood? And I know we have sticks, because I've been throwing the hell up these sticks. They're here somewhere. Alright, let's start with this. Make, uh... Actually, that might be overkill. Let me think. Do whatever that is. Make fences. It's 42. I mean, it's a start. Maybe. I don't know. Let me see how big do we want this. I mean, later we can dig it up and just push the guys off the edge. It doesn't really matter. If we kept that open as a thing, let's just put them here. And then... Oh, I just... Yeah, that's good. Let's just go this size. This shouldn't be it well... We either have to make these things two fences tall or keep the beds away from the sides. I guess either way is simple enough. At least four. I'm going to need more than that. Hmm? Uh, I went one too high on the cutting of the tree. Okay, make some fences, which is 37. That's got to be good enough. Um, and then we have the issue where this isn't actually done. Yeah, I had to get more wood. Yeah, I got some. So that should be a thing that could contain some... I'm going to have way more beds than I need for a thing this size. Um, I don't think... I don't know how far they can jump. I've really never found that out. Let me get this out of my way. Consolidate all this. Need to make beds out of that, actually. Um, oh, which I... Okay, okay, I need... I had... Do I still have... Yeah, that'll work carpets to fill in the uh, um, the water hole bit in the middle of the uh, thing there. The farmland. Nope. So let me put that down. See how many beds I can make. I guess in the worst case I'll save some of these for later by the way. Oh hell. Um... No, 
exactly easy way to do this. I don't know why I care if they're red, but apparently that's what's happening. Of course, this now raises a question what happens when I start picking up red ones and there's still white ones on the ground. It eventually should happen, I think. I guess I'm throwing the red ones further away, maybe it's okay. Ugh. see any of those anymore. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, keep the beds kind of away from, why don't we just do this? Why don't we put the beds like this? Oh, that's actually not going to work as well as I'd like. Simply because uh, I'm going to have twice as many beds as workstations. Um, okay, plan B. We're going to build this sort of village-ish the way I usually do it. At least I'm going to try. Meaning that should be a workstation. So that's a bed. 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 Why do I have two? Get out of here. And then space, space, right? So, no, not that. I forgot we're leaving that. Oh, hell, there's torches right there. Okay, fine. Do this. I've got all of these, like, not on the ground for five minutes. <sighs> I'm not sure what I'm planning at this point. It doesn't. I'm, I don't have any real idea where I'm going to put... No, workstations are typically one by one, aren't they? So if I just have a bunch of beds... And I guess, how did I do that? Oh, okay. So just do that again. Um, and then I can just do this because I'm not doing it the other way. beds, but I don't really have any good place to put them that I can think of. Okay, if the, yeah, I think that, I think that'll work. I don't think they can jump out. Pretty sure they can't. Uh, I do not, in fact, need sticks anymore. That's just, that was stupid. Um... fences here into the oven because I don't really have any idea what I'd ever use them for at this point. Podium. Oh, I need the thing. Which I probably just wasted whatever it was going to end up doing. But By the way, I'm going to take a nap. I don't know what you're doing. I was kidding. Okay. I get it. It's just, um, just time to sleep, apparently. And then, I'm guessing, and I don't know why I'm guessing, if, I think probably if, if we have a, kind of, that's not going to help me, if I put 
put that there, and put them there. This over here somewhere it doesn't really matter. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, let me have some wood. Apparently. Where the hell are? Slabs, I think I can do this. Let's just, do, how are we doing on eggs? Okay. Well, you know, if I'm, in the worst case, I'll be wrong and I'll just figure out some alternative, but. If we just put villagers in here. Can I just put them on a bed? No. Villager, go get a job, villager. He just walked away. Oh, because it's right next to the damn bed. Okay. That was really dumb. Okay, well, we're going to make that not dumb. I, damn it. Give me, right now, give me. Okay, so somehow we have to get these two idiots back in here now, but... They might just do it themselves. Alright, bye-bye, go. What do you like? Carrots and... Well, we have that. We well, have beets are up. Too bad. <laughs> you have a bookshelf and you want paper, so that's kind of good. I don't think they have any way out anymore. Okay. So, and they've got beds, which means they could arguably... They don't need jobs to have beds. Or to have kids, as such. I'm out of beats, I don't believe it. Okay. Uh, um, what was the other one? Carrots? That I have. Let's go talk about carrots a bit. I know. That's why I'm here. So, there. Okay, give me. Give me. So now he is like that. Gives me nothing left to feed him with, but... Well, potatoes. Yeah, I can do that. Here. I assume that didn't... It may have opened him up, actually. He wants pumpkin snip. Take these as food. Throw them to the other guy. Pass them around. We do have a small amount of pumpkins. Not a lot. How many do you want? I think he wants six at once. I think that sounds right. I have eight right here. I just figured the more I can get him opened up, the better he's going to be about things. There's that. Put this back. Hmm. If I open him up to melons, there's that. I mean, I can't... The problem now is I'm back to not really being able to automate much of anything. Yet. Because no quartz. But and you're over there. Yeah, I should have. I can't actually get out of here. I should have a bunch of uh, enough for enough paper to get that guy started. I mean, it doesn't really matter. is trading with him no longer gets him to breed. That's not about that, so. It's more just about locking in that he wants paper and has these things, which are handy if I want more podiums. But generally right now it's just going to be these two, which may or may not do... Well, they, they made it certain times. So, with 18 seconds left in a thing, I don't know what I can do. Just wait and see what happens. I don't know. Well, given that, I basically just traded in all of my redstone for, like, no reason. As a minimum, we can get red, we can get this stuff, emeralds, from these guys. He does not want wheat, so we have to get another farmer who does, which isn't impossible. It basically means getting a new, uh, 
making more of these things, doing that so they can't jump out over them. Getting a bunch of farmers, one of them will want wheat, will have that, it's pretty easy. Yeah, they're going to breed whenever they want, which isn't now, so... Well, okay, whatever. Um, we're out of time. So, I'll leave these two to breed or escape or whatever they're going to do. We can, we can get more eggs for them, just from, you know, we just need bread for it, so we have wheat there, or we can uh, buy bread from someone. Anyway, we'll see you next time, so bye.